Well, still snowing, guys. It's going to make for an awesome ski season. Great time up on the ski slopes, but yes, it is still snowing. What is going on everybody? This is Giovanni from the Options Trading Channel. I got true confessions uh, time to tell you. I was recording and I recorded a whole segment about CCIV and the portfolio in general. And my mic was not set up. It, it was unplugged at some point uh, this past weekend. And I, I plugged it in and I, I didn't think about configuring it and it wasn't recording my voice. So ugh, this is terrible, but I do have some awesome news to go over with you guys and show you the portfolio in general. We are down on it a bit today, but let's start with CCIV. That sucker is running and running hard. It got halted a couple times to the upside, uh, to the downside, you name it. I took profit. I took profit. I took a hundred shares off the table um, and I sold them at $46.83. And I'm happy with that. I'm writing the other hundred shares to see how high they go up. Currently trading at $50.19. Um, let me let me just run down a, a couple things on the portfolio. We are at trading at uh, $467,500. We are down big on Apple, big on Apple. We're down on this position, $2,000 today, $1,300 alone today. Just not a good day for Apple. Um, again, let me just run down every position that we're in. Adobe, we got uh, a vertical spread going on. We are up on it. AMD, we're up, but down today. Uh, we do have a vertical, seven of those suckers. A-N-S-S, A-N-S-S, sorry. Uh, I won't pronounce uh, how it is spelled out, right? The uh, the stock A-N-S-S, -S. not gonna go there. Uh, we do own the 350 call at $41, trading at $54. So we're up nicely on that one. CCIV, we talked about. If you guys remember, I did want to do the wheel strategy on CCIV. I found out quickly that you don't want to do it on uh, such a volatile stock lesson learned everybody did say that on the uh, facebook groups and what if you're familiar with the strategy just move on to the uh, next segment if you're not basically you buy um 100 shares at least 100 shares so you can sell one covered call uh, to the upside and if you do this enough eventually uh, and successfully of course mind you uh, eventually the shares that you purchased, uh, the, the cost of ownership will go down basically in a nutshell. So I ended up selling the $35 call at $3 and 30 cents. And then I ended up buying it back, essentially getting out with a $300 loss. Thank goodness, because I sold the hundred shares that would have been called uh, out at $35. I sold them at $46. You can see here at the very uh, bottom and I still have a hundred shares averaged at thirty dollars and twenty six cents moving on DocuSign I did protect this one call the 230 call that expires in March I sold the 280 call I am up 90 bucks on it so doing good there and we do have a vertical spread FDN I, I took some profits but still hold uh, one of the 210 calls and I sold the 235 to protect myself. We're up 90 bucks on that one. IGV, we sold out of it completely, made money. PWR, just a little bit up, down on it today, 90 bucks, up $130. RH, we are up just a tad bit again. Uh, we It's a vertical here. Sky, we're down just a tiny bit, but down big on the day, down 480 down $168 on the position as a whole. Square, we are up huge on. Still holding one $200 call that expires March. I'm trying to hold this one um, until uh, earnings. Earnings that come out on the 23rd next week, exactly a week from today. And Tan, we're up a little bit, doing well, doing well. $575 on it, that is a spread. Tesla, this is a new position. We're trying something new here. We can experiment here. We're okay with taking 
Um, a big loss on Tesla, totally separate. We purchased the 750 call that expires March 19th, purchased it at $90.92, $90 currently down to $84.77, down 600 bucks on it. XBI, XHB, XLK, and XRT, the whole X uh, part of the portfolio we took profits on altogether. And my goodness, oil. Oil is up huge, guys. Absolutely huge. Um, up in the 60s, we are up on this position, $22,000. Amazing, guys. Let me also show you uh, sort of the profit losses for per position here. I have this arranged by profit loss year to date. You can see here on this current position, we're up $22,000. That's oil square. Squares are big winner currently, uh, up $8,600. That's oil again right underneath it with $6,000. So altogether, a little uh, under thirty grand total up this year. PayPal, big winner. DocU, uh, Amazon, this is mainly uh, naked calls here. CCIV, big winner. Uh, silver, $3,400. Uh, ANSS up just under a hair of 3,000. Look at all these. And you can pause the uh, this uh, video so you can see one individually if you like. GameStop, $426 up. And Apple, we're down big. We're down $1,111 overall for the year. Of course, TAN down $1,300. Uh, Macy's, you guys know the story on that. And Beyond Me, you guys know the story on that, guys. So I greatly apologize for just such a unplanned, uh, very scattered brain video here, but I still wanted to show the portfolio as to where we are at. It's up and down, up and down. And again, I apologize. I had a whole awesome segment. Um, I actually was recording while CCIV was halted and I thought it was going to be make for great content, but poo on me i apologize i didn't have my mic uh up and up and running correctly so thank you everybody so much for watching this is super exciting for me to actually watch and unfold ccav is a big winner uh i hope you guys uh stick around i hope uh, whoever bought into ccv you guys are making money i know that you guys are making money because it is up huge and hit a high of 55 dollars even Let's see it in the 60s. That would be super awesome. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Don't, hit, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and like and share my videos. Comment down below what you thought about today's video. Any, uh, did I screw up with CCIV? Should I held every uh, share that I had uh, or did I do good? Do you think that I did good by taking some profit off the table? Comment down below what you think and how can I help you become a better day trader in general? See you guys here on the very next trading video, hoping it's a green trade. See you guys later.